So the Wesley Clunes Year 9 program provides students a unique eight-week residential opportunity in the beautiful central Victorian Goldfields region. Uh, students come up here and enjoy a curriculum based around social and emotional learning. It's firmly embedded within the framework of the IB Middle Years program. We all learn a lot about ourselves and the people around us. We learn how to look after ourselves and just do everything. So Year 9 is really a time when students are grappling with those big questions around identity. The Clunes program provides a safe and supportive environment for them to gain some independence, to understand what it might be like to live away from home and really learn to navigate those social connections in a safe and supportive way. So a typical day at Clunes is getting up before eight for a morning meeting and then you go off and you have different activities each day. There's sometimes fitness in the morning, fitness or running and there's also a project class where we choose a topic and we research about it and then on the very last day we present it. My individual Clunes project is about Clunes youth and what they're not being provided with in rural areas. How do people die during the gold rush and how did it affect the families? I did a photo printing for my individual project. I've been um, super impressed today, particularly with the, the quality of the thinking and the depth of the projects. I'm focusing on beauty standards and how social media has influenced it. And not being able to be on the phone, she's actually really enjoyed and I think she'll make some conscious decisions about communication style and the importance of direct communication, catching up with friends. It's been good living without social media and my phone because I've learnt how to connect with people better rather than connecting with them through social media. I think what's really important is that making sure students are well supported in an environment where they're away from home. A residential setting means that you really need to make sure students feel comfortable and that they have people they can access to gain all of the support that they need. You develop relationships with them and you get to know them as people, not so much teachers. One thing I feel like I've learnt is just how to live independently and how to look after myself. Making connections with people that you never thought you'd make connections with. It's not really easy to live with seven other people that are our age in the same house. There are conflicts, but we have managed to resolve those problems. I have found cleaning a bit of a struggle. No one's going to cook dinner for me or like wash my stuff for me. I have to do it all. I realised how hard and important it was. You can't like rely on your parents to do it all. Students are out there working with different organisations and different groups. Students have had opportunities to work in different areas around Clunes, in neighbouring towns, they've worked in primary schools. I think it's uh, probably the, the best thing to happen to Clunes since gold was discovered in the 1850s. It's been really good learning from the people in the Clunes community. You get to know a lot more people from the community and as it is quite a small town, Everyone knows everyone. It just allows you to work with a lot of different people that you wouldn't usually be working with. The town is just busier, which is really nice when they're here. You see them out walking and doing their shopping and just sitting out here in the rotunda. I've got to say that Widow Twakey wouldn't exist had it not been for Wesley. We feel really united with the whole community of Clunes. We find that as students work through the challenges of shared living, it provides a great vehicle for learning more about themselves and others and their place in the world. The program itself is incredibly enriching for these young children embarking on adulthood. I've been absolutely thrilled.